Ah, welcome back everyone to the Legacy of the Vikings! Guys, we are back after a long, long hiatus. And we are not at the same date either. That is a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're definitely not on the same date. And we have conquered the islands. And we have started colonizing. What the heck happened, James? Well, uh, you know how there's always an interesting story to almost everything I do? Yeah, this is not one of those. Basically, what happened was that while I was recording, I forgot to press the actual record button, so... Or I thought I pressed it, and it wasn't recording, or I didn't press it, or something like that. And basically, all the footage that I had are basically between now of the end of this war, and all the way to when I started colonizing is lost. But, don't worry guys, you really didn't miss that much. Like, besides the whole colonization thing, I mean, basically, we're about the same. I mean, our borders really haven't changed, well... I, I, I'm just gonna ignore this. We're gonna say Sweden proper has not changed at all. Okay. Um, at this present state, um, we're doing pretty much. Oh, by the way, I have to go to war with the Lavirian Order. Now they're really starting to become powerful, powerful people. And I don't really like that. But the Lavirian, the Lavirian Order kind of became a little bit more powerful. The Muscovies became a little bit more powerful. I think we're we're not allied with England. Um, France has become blobbish. I don't really care about France. <laughs> to be honest with you, France is not really my big concern. We have ships patrolling areas, and let's see, technologically... I'll just go down to map mode and you guys can all, like, stop it when you guys want something. Stop. Okay. Do do. Whoa, we're actually making income! Gosh dang, our country's actually looking green now. Whew. I'm loving this. Okay, let's see. Uh, technologically wise, we're starting to fall behind a little bit of France. France is 9911. We are 999. So yeah, we are starting to fall behind severely. Um, it's partly because I buy a lot of buildings. So what I'm going to, yeah, just just so you guys know, that's what happened. I fell behind just a little bit in technologically. Supply limit, trade value. Hey, we're actually looking about not as good, France. We're looking better though. That's for sure. We are definitely looking better than what we used to be. Um, players are no players except for Shredder Jame. Alright, yeah. Alright, and this mode where we accept our fin cultures. We accept Norwegian, by the way, now. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. So, yeah. Basically, we discovered a new world. We did all these other kind of things, and yeah. So, yeah. And I think we're also colonizing one of these places. I can't quite remember. Ah, uh, anyways, we'll, we'll see, we'll see it pop up if I have been colonizing it. Anyways, um, now that we have actually started the colonization process, I've decided that, you know what, I've been a very peaceful person for the past couple games, and you hate me, like, with a burning passion. So it would really kill me if I just declared what they are, a holster monster, and they're part of the Empire of Austria. Yeah, Austria joined it, damn. Um, <laughs> I was sorry guys, I was thinking about going to war with them, but I then I just realized we are... Gonna get, we're gonna get destroyed, and I think they have higher tech than we do. Yeah, a lot of nations have higher tech than we do. We really gotta, yeah, we really, I'm gonna have to buckle down on that, because that's really kind of disturbing that they have more high tech, but I think it's, I honestly think if I remember correctly, it was because I was doing all these nationalistic ideas, and I just wanted to level up my, uh, um, this. So I can get a permanent causes bella against all pagans. Oh, there it is! Right here. This was what I was thinking of. I knew I was doing some kind of colony. Right here. This is a colony that we are starting right here. And by the way, guys, um, for every colony I establish, try to come up with some kind of clever name for them. Because now since I know you can like change names in this game, I am going to be changing the names of America's countries by a lot. Now let me just get there. Thank you. Mimic. So what am I gonna name Mimic? Well, ah! Didn't mean to do that. I think we have to wait to record. But anyways, once well, I can, I'm going to start naming all these places, like maybe after some things, some some famous places, like maybe New Shredder, Jamia, the spread of Protestantism. Keep spreading Protestants, seriously! 
I've been waiting for you guys to take over my entire country by now, but you still haven't. Why? Oh gosh, but you guys, yes, just keep spreading. That's all I want you guys to do. That's all I want you guys. Oh, did they just accommodation? The local native population seems to be more accepting of our players. They will have great benefits in the long run. Good. Okay. I was about to say because oh. Because if the natives were to attack me, and by the way, I made this kind of rule while you guys were absent. Basically, if the natives, I will be one of the most peaceful guys you will ever know in the new world. I will not send any of my armies to go destroy any of the natives. Until, guys, until they go into armed revolt against me. Once they do that, then all gloves are off. I'm going to go send like 15,000 15, soldiers to go destroy every single one of these things. So... Yeah, for their sake, they better not be rebellious, because I am not kidding around. Alright, anyways, um... I think we also have an explorer. Yes, we do. His name is... Stefan Stokia... I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Don't. I'm not even going to try. And we, he was exploring all the Caribbean. Because right now we have some bases over here in the Caribbean. Now, I think I'm going to slow this down just a little bit. And just kind of... just. I know this is all a lot to take in, guys. Don't worry, I know. So, yeah. And I might even... Hmm. I want to explore the Hudson Bay. Not particularly. But yeah, as you can see, there's like... There's like trade ships over here now moving down. And we're just... I mean, we... We, we have two colonies that we can do right now. And right now, I'm using them both to go do different things. I'm funding my colonies pretty averagely. Um, missionary maintenance, colonial maintenance. It is costing me a lot, not to going to deny. But I think I can afford it. Uh, avocational advisors. I think I'm going to start better relationships over time. Diplomats. Uh, this guy would be so good, but I don't think I could be. Holy shoot, yeah, I could not afford this guy. Um, spy offense. Global tariffs. I don't really use tariffs. He would be great for diplomacy, though. Spread a disease. Attempt to assure the plan. I lose 40 ducats, but I save people. Is that a less chance? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, honestly, that gives me much more, alright? And... Gosh, these guys are so expensive! Okay, um... I mean, look at that. 1.9 a month, 7 point... Yeah. I can afford you. Okay, let's see. Does that really cut into my income? No. I mean, I don't mind getting a little bit of less income. Yeah, you go right there. Okay, let's see. Do I still have enough money? Yes, I do. Alright. Yeah, because I want to make sure I'm paying at least half of my army. And let's see. You, you are exploring the Caribbean. Just... Kind of loop, kind of just loop around here. We want to make sure that we explore as much as we can. And the Aztec land is looking so juicy, guys. <laughs> like that is the land. If if there was land I'm gunning for in the new world, it's the Aztecs. Because the Aztecs I know have a ton of gold. While it does cause inflation, will be great to have in the future. Okay. Anyways, back at home, we have basically nothing happening. I mean, we're very very peaceful people. Um, we're getting quite close, I think, in administrative tech, though, I think. Uh, yeah, we're about 200 off, so that means about a couple years, a couple revolts, probably some religious ones. Uh, no, just regular revolts, okay. Well, I have a couple armies over here because I knew this was gonna happen. Because it always does happen, doesn't it? And... Is this place still... No. Good. Um, I thought that place was still, like, Protestant, I was like, uh, wait. I mean, not Protestant, Orthodox! I thought that was still orthodox, and I was like, ah, great. Okay, and I could build some more buildings, but... Um... Manufactories... I think I'm going to try to save up for a farm estate, and... No, I'm going to... Where's plantations? I don't remember, but I think I'm going to have to wait for high technology. So I want to make sure I build a plantation in one of my colonies, because they're really good. Improvement in production. Spare no expenses. 0.5 expansion. Uh... Why not? Let's just spare no expenses. A little bit of inflation won't hurt me. A little bit of inflation will hurt me. Never mind. Oh. Alright, where'd my merchant go? I think I may have killed off my merchant. Oh, you know, he's still alive somewhere. Oh, shoot. Uh, dude, can you somehow make it all the way back to here? Ooh, yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. I think we just killed this guy. Everyone, everyone do the amazing great song that we're gonna come up with for this pilot. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. He, yep. Yep. He was a brave man. He was possibly the only guy I actually ever sent on a suicide, well, exact suicide mission that the public will ever know of. 
Because I've sent other people on suicide missions, I just don't tell them about it. Let's get some more tax income for these places, by the way. Okay. And over here in our colonies, we're doing... It's starting to grow a little bit bigger. Um, right now, in total, we have 298 um, colonists. That's a pretty good population, considering that the natives are only 500. Over here, Mimic, I think we're completely outnumbered, though. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's 5,000 natives, and there's approximately 168 colonists. Great odds for survival, people. I'm just going to say that. Great odds. Alright, over here in our empire range, we're just kind of all squishing rebels. Oh, shoot. Really? Really? Okay. There we go. Squish the rebels. Squish them. Squish them! You gotta be kidding me. Are rebels really gonna... Thank you! Like, gosh, guys, that's really sad. I mean, we don't even... We have such a good, like, manpower rating right now. I mean, it's not even crazy. Fur! Good news! Eric's fur is now making fur good. I didn't need more fur, but good. <laughs> Alright, and then these are my main ships. I really gotta... I'm gonna start... I think I gotta start beefing up some of my military and stuff. And stuff. Force limit. I mean, we can build one more soldier, but... Nah, I'm, I'm about good with my range right now um i should be building production local tax modifier hmm how's stockholm looking well i'll make sure stockholm's built up yes yeah, stockholm's built up how about new stockholm is new stockholm built up it's not really built up that much let's get a tax let's get a local tax modifier for it because new stockholm is technically like a second away capital uh gain a base tax let's get a base tax in front of mimic because that that gives us better overall percentage because that will stick for the colony forever. And having another base tax already on the three, it was... I found it on the two. Alone. What? Okay, we pay loan. We pay. I don't remember taking a loan, but okay, we took a loan. Good news, we just got out of a loan. Which is good. Okay. Natives not resisting. Natives not resisting? Native... Wait. Native... Local native helpers are temporarily not assisting our food chapters. This is leading to reduced production. Eh, that's okay. Okay, so basically it's saying don't spend a lot for like the next couple of weeks because you are going to be hurting your economy. So yeah, I'm just going to be making 5.6 a turn. Uh, this is the one problem with like colonial expansions that it takes so much of your resources. Like you really got to be on ball with everything. Otherwise, it's going to hurt you severely. Alright, let's get back to Sweden. Um, okay, pause it. Border friction. Norway, put a spin on things. Border friction, whatever. Uh, corrupt vice wars. I don't want to gain any more o overseas inflation. I already have 3.9, which was good enough for me. Okay, Pelcroy somehow has been formed. I almost want to get a core on this. Because it's just right there. Um, right now these guys don't hate me as much, so, let's see, could I? No, I could not. These guys, let's see, tolerated heretics, uh, the Swedish, the Swedish opinion of Pickle is modified. Actually, they pretty much like me, so what I could do is, let me see, who am I doing my relationships with right now? Maybe there's no way. I don't think I have really... Any, yeah, I only have one diplomatic relationship, and that's with Holdenstein. And they're being kind of loyal jerks right now, because they don't even like me. So maybe what I'm going to try to do is try to diplomatically annex these guys. So let's start improving relationships with these guys, and see if we can turn this into a lovely, lovely, uh, you know, royal puppetry. I mean, it should come really close, like... Oh no, on natives up... What?! How many did you kill in my province? Eh, we're still graining by 307%. Oh my goodness, France is starting to come! That is not good. That is definitely not a good sign. Because once France starts to come, that means this is all the Europeans are about to come and kick my, my butt. This is not good. We're about to, guys, we're about to start seeing... Simon of Sweden is leaving the Baltic. Give him the support. Okay. Well, guys, this is about to become a major war zone for the entire world. I mean, seriously. We're about to see a gigantic, you know, settlement on settlement warfare. 
I mean, it won't happen immediately, don't get me wrong, it won't happen immediately, but it will soon happen. We're soon going to see that. And then is this colony almost done? Because I'd really love it if this colony would be done so I can start going to other colonies. Um, I think what I'll do is that once this colony is bigger than the actual native population, which it is, I think what... Uh, each month it will gain a chance to increase the population by 30 going to colony by the average per year. That's actually a lot. 135 per year. It's actually not that bad. Um, yeah, the French colony is really quite scary. Okay, and then a new alliance. Just had an alliance offer, but I don't think I got to it quickly enough. Pekarov, still liking us. We're tolerated heretics, which is good. Um, let's see, royal marriage. Let's see, royal marriage. Okay, we... Defenses are compromised. I suppose I could spend some money on that. Okay. Um, now we did that. Okay. Now they should, since I offered them a mil uh, marriage, they should offer me a. Uh, embrace the counter reformation. Yeah, no. Um, I'm already. The act of uniformity, that could give me stuff I'm gonna wait until like I have a little bit stronger missionaries. Alright. Anyways though, I'm thinking that with our militaristic advantage, they should offer me a uh, alliance. We have to wait till December 30th. That's why they're not offering us anything. I mean we are militaristic tied, so they should offer us the militaristic alliance. Come on. Come on guys. Don't don't be shy. I mean, we're not we're not scary. More in native uprisings. That's that's cool. I mean, you know, they have to do what they have to do. Okay. I mean, now that we got this, 146 militaristic relations, improved relationships. At least, are they Catholic or are they Orthodox? They're Orthodox. Shoot. Ah, shoot. That means I can't actually annex them. Dang it. Okay. Well, I just scrap that plan. <laughs> Oh gosh. Well, at least in the long run, these guys will help me out with the Liberian Order. At least they'll provide a distraction, which... I'm gonna see, who are you guys' alliances with that? Allied with Hungary, England, and Teutonic Order. Yep, not going to war with them for a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. France, are you guys... Wait, wait, wait. View your country. Wait, wait. I forgot to also get Pekrovs. There's one thing I did forget to do, which is... Who are your enemies? Teutonic Order and Pomerania. Well, Teutonic Order... You guys aren't really my friends anymore, but you guys is Pomerania. Maybe what I could do is I can squeeze out a enemy of Pomerania. Yeah, let's establish you guys as our like main enemies, rivals per se. Uh, establish Pomerania as our main rivals. Maybe then we can like push relationships over. Let's see, Pomerania, let's get Pomerania, yeah, they're going to be our main rivals, so let's see, does that push it over the edge? We have to wait for it to recalculate, and, oh gosh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking with everything considered our culture, revolution, invest in bigger military, or gain two minutes, let's get this, that sounds better, uh, in alliance with Hodenstein, thank you, that's what I was missing! Okay, so Hodenstein now likes us again, which is good. Aggressive expansion's almost completely done, which I'm happy of. And there's a rebellion in Vilsburg, right next to my 15k army, which is the best, best thing ever to happen. Yeah, you're not gonna win against 15k, I don't care how much you have. Alright. Um, I'm thinking though, if I keep increasing relationships with these guys, eventually they will like me. And so, if I'm correct... Uh, my king, our colony in Eriksford has grown to become self-sustaining! Oh, yes! Okay, okay, okay. That means we can finally core this, which means now we can finally move our settler to somewhere else. Base 3, base 3, base 5, base 3. So we want to choose a good area. Base 6, base 6, base 6. This is really good. Uh, Base 5, uh, travel time, kind of looking at travel time, settlement chance, 
I mean, base six. That's pretty good. But I want to make sure. I want to kind of make sure my colonies are kind of set up really well. So I don't want to just expand really rapidly and then just like have terrible colonies. Hmm. Chesapeake area would be pretty good though, because it's like it's really weak and there's not many people. Okay, we have to wait for our settlement to get back. Yeah, we have to wait for our settlement to get back. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just give it a little bit. Do do do. Okay, now let's go wait for this. Massachusetts is a maximum distance away from our closest colonists. Oh, what? I really can't send them there? Really? Right, what's the closest I can send it to Astrid? I can get a direct confrontation with them. Hmm. Eric's Ford. Oh, yeah, I have to wait till. Go to the trade interference, Hudson Bay. Let's get to Arcadia. Yeah, let's just send it there then. Because we're going to have... With that, we can go around and start doing more stuff. Yeah, that's what I'll name it. That's exactly what I'll do. Alright? And Prestige, my king for his trading. Tobacco. Tobacco? We got a tobacco colony? That means slaves are coming in, aren't they? For... We don't know what this is yet, but it will soon be discovered and we'll be happy. We can invest in new technology. Yes! We got some new technology, finally. So let's go to here. Let's go to Lamberian Knights. Get the Colburn. Let's get the Colburn. Let's get the... Let's get the... I think the Latin Knights are actually the best still. The Gunberg. Ah, oh, dang. Let's see. Military. Let's see. You guys have a 0.5. See, we need to balance it out to make sure we have good defenses. We don't have to, because we have really good offense right now. Defense morale, offensive fire. Hmm. Uh. Let's just go with the reformed, because we've been th these units have served us well in the past. Why don't we go with the reformed? <laughs> okay. So now let's do that, and then we could get a global empire overseas trade income, which would then give us a permanent cause of spell against all pagans. Which we could then. Let's do it. Wait, no, I'm not spending any of my diplomatic power anymore until. Look how close we are. Yeah, I'm definitely not spending my diplomatic power. But, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. This was the end of the episode. So, see you guys next time where we are almost done with colonization. And next episode, we should be able to form Scandinavia, which will be awesome. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.